And this is the site that the archeologists associated with Gomorrah. So here you can see that ashy layer that's just underneath the surface. Uh, this is full of burned pottery. It's full of the fragments of human bones. The question is, is what evidence is there of this burning sulfur that rained down? I think this video I'm about to show you will at least prove that the Bible is a reliable historical book. We have many skeptics out in the world, so whenever someone makes a claim, they are ready to ask for evidence, as they should. I'm not going to knock you down for that. We have lots of people that believe crazy things without a shred of evidence. So whenever the Bible says something happened in the past, like, like the destruction of the city of Sodom and Gomorrah, a city that God wiped out because the people were very sinful and they practiced homosexuality. And, and it actually happened, as we're about to see in this video. With that being said, let's jump in. So I'm standing now at the largest of these early bronze sites on the southeast side of the Dead Sea. This one locally is known as Babidra uh, and is the site that is associated with Sodom in the Bible. Um, it was discovered as an uh, early bronze site back in 1924. It was excavated in the 1960s and 1970s. And what archaeologists found here was this uh, burn destruction that goes across this site. This city came to an end um, through a fire destruction. So here you can see this uh, ashy burn destruction layer uh, just underneath the surface. It's full of human uh, bone fragments, burn pottery, and it's covering the entire site. So off in the distance here you can see uh, Baba Dra. Uh, identified as Sodom, and then right here to the southwest is this massive cemetery that you can see with all these pits that mark its boundaries. And these are formed because of the locals for decades have been coming and digging into these graves looking for antiquities to sell in the antiquity market. And so it's estimated from the archaeologists that dug here back in the 60s and the 70s that there are around a half million people buried in this cemetery. And uh, it's just staggering. And, and what's really intriguing then is that they found a burn destruction across the cemetery that happened at the same time that the city was destroyed. So the city and the cemetery were destroyed in the same fire disaster. And uh, there's no reason why an army would attack a bunch of graves and burn a cemetery. And so this was one of the major reasons that they interpreted the destruction here as being caused by a natural disaster. In the excavation report, they show pictures of the bones in the graves that were warped by the heat. And I'm driving about eight miles to the south to another excavated site. Uh, identified as the biblical city of Gomorrah. So I'm up here on the site uh, called locally Numera, and uh, this tower behind me was excavated, and uh, two skeletons were found underneath the collapse of the tower on this side and one on the other side. Uh, there was burn destruction all through here, as you see in the picture from the excavation. Uh, however, it does seem like the collapse was able to preserve those skeletons uh, better than most of the human remains here. Um, you can see there's ash right here, and um, human remains, bones, um, are all through this ash. As you can see. There's uh, this, this destruction layer is filled with human bone remains. Um, here's some ribs uh, found in this area. Uh, burn pottery, uh, a total burn destruction. The uh, excavators here, the main excavator here is Walter Rast who excavated also at Baba Dra. And uh, he describes what they found in the excavations here at Numera. He writes, the burnt debris covering this site has appeared in almost every area excavated. Whatever the cause, it was certainly a tragedy. Obviously, 
the town suffered a severe fire and was forever abandoned. Now, despite Walter Rast being a secular archeologist, his conclusion about uh, what he found in the excavations at Babadra and here in Numera were these. He says this, in the author's opinion, the vicissitudes of these two early bronze three cities of Babadra and Numera may well be reflected in the stories of Sodom and Gomorrah in the Bible. Okay, so Babadra was destroyed by fire at the same time that its cemetery was destroyed by fire. Uh, the city was never rebuilt. This city associated with Gomorrah has a burn destruction over it. The city came to a dramatic end with the fire destruction. At the same time uh, that Babadra was destroyed by fire and this city was never, ever, ever lived in again. What is it that burned these cities and the cemetery uh, at Babadra? The Bible describes it as burning sulfur raining down from the sky. And is there anything that, uh, that matches this description that's still left in the geological record in this area? to give you an idea of how many sulfur balls there are. So this is a sulfur ball, sulfur balls. All these are sulfur balls here, here. I'm gonna burn one of these sulfur balls just to show you how flammable they are. Uh, I gotta be careful because man, when you get a whiff of these things, it's really nasty. Okay, so this is one of the reasons why sulfur balls would only be preserved in water because if they strike the land, then they're gonna burn up. You can see the goo, it's just melting down to goo and then dripping off. So really, uh, anywhere that they would have landed on land, they would have burned up like this and they would have burned anything flammable around them. This is how the cities in the plain were burned. However, um, if they would have hit the water of the Dead Sea, that would have extinguished them and therefore they wouldn't have burned up and uh, they would have sank down to the bottom uh, of the floor of the Dead Sea and been preserved in a geological layer. This is clear evidence of the historicity of the Bible. In the book of Jeremiah chapter 50 verse 40, God said the city of Sodom and Gomorrah will never be rebuilt and no one will inhabit it. In the video I just show you prove that it is a wasteland. No one lived there. I know there's still going to be people that deny the evidence. There's nothing I can do about that. Everybody has to make up their own mind. So let me know what you think about this video in the comment below. And may God bless you. Take care.